Yes, sir. What it is, everybody. It's your boy, Mike Rich, man. I hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all, is having a blessed day today. Today, I got a simple question for y'all. Do we still care about these? Are we still getting hyped about this shoe? I got an early unboxing straight from Nike Sneakers app, and I just want to know. Do we still care about these, man? Are we still going crazy about these? Is everybody and their mama, daddy, cousin, uncle, sister, baby, daddy, cousin-in-law, nephew-in-law, mama-in-law, is everybody still going to be rocking these things? You know what I'm saying? We're going to have a whole fam with them. Is when everybody come back to school from the uh, Christmas break, is everybody going to be rocking these? Is it still the same vibes as it used to be? I'm going to give y'all my answer. I don't think so. Let's check these things out. So anyway, like I said before, it's your boy Mike Rich. If you hear somebody in the background playing, laughing, and having a ball, a good old time, it's my daughter and her best friend. They downstairs and they are loud. So I'm going to try to be even louder so y'all can hear what's going on with your boy Rich. Bruh, D right here, shouty. Let me tell you something about this shoe right here. I don't care no more. I don't need them. I ain't got to have them. I ain't even going for them, you feel me? Speaking of going for something, before we get into the unboxing, uh, at 9 o'clock this morning, Eastern Time, uh, I'm on Meneer's website, Re release the I'm on Air Jordan 4 because apparently a lot of bots got away with getting multiple pairs and they canceled a lot of orders. And from what I'm seeing and from what I heard this morning, they used the same link, same type of operating system, same exact bot heavy situation the same thing that the bots attacked last time they used the same thing this time so it seemed like bots got these pairs too i got i went in for a size 12 it was gone before i even got to the uh when as soon as i went in my cart it said sold out like gone out of here so i don't know what pairs they had left maybe they had some eight some seven and a half or something like that it was no go and then speaking of a no go i went on nike sneakers app and of course i entered the draw to no avail of course i didn't get them that way seems like retail if somebody can help me with a size 12 i know everybody asking for this shoe so i know it's nothing special you don't have to help Mike reach out I've been blessed enough already I'm not tripping if I have to pay resale I just have to pay resale for this shoe you feel me just don't want to pay $500 if I could get somewhere around $350 ish I go ahead and pull the trigger on the I'm in Air Jordan 4 with that being said let's go ahead and get into this shoe that I'm talking about today all right shout out to my boy Zay let me bar these he did hit these on the Nike sneakers app shop drop and I asked if I can go ahead and get them in hand to get a good look at a retail pair you know what I'm saying so he kind of like used a little self adhesive glue that they give you to close the box up Zay these are probably for sale I think these are for sale so he tried to keep them as brand new as possible so I'm not going to you know get my, my hands are clean I'm good I ain't gonna I ain't gonna play around with them too much <laughs> but anyway um here they go bro here they go right here. here's the box y'all probably already know what shoot is in before I get into it ah uh, I just don't think this, I don't think these have the same, hold the same power as they once did. You feel me? I don't think it's people going crazy for them like that. Let's just go ahead and get into it. I'm going to read the Air Jordan. You already know what they is, man. You already know what they is. Let's just get into it real quick. Get into them. From Nike Sneakers app pair. And this is size 13. And there they go. There we have it right there. Y'all can see what they is. I thought they were going to come out the other way. There we go. Blizzam, boom, bam, boom, bam, boom, blam. You feel me? All right, let's check them out, man. Let's see what we got. I mean, I mean, they clean and whatnot in goings on. You feel me? I mean, they clean. And they deserve. They deserve a bow. They deserve, they deserve a... Wow. The Air Jordan 11 Cherry Things. So this is the Air Jordan 11 Cherry. Um, they I. I mean, it's the Jordan 11. I mean, what do you expect? To get out of this, that's not gonna be different. I can literally tell y'all, this is the Air Jordan 11 uh, Cherry, and that could be the end of the review. Like, that could literally be the end of the I think the conversation around the shoe is better. Um, I can get more into that, more than what the shoe looked like. I can go over what the shoe looked like real quick. Check the shoe out, here we go. 
They're enjoying the living. Cherry, the um, and what the colorway does it say? Cause I don't even think it says cherry. It says white, varsity red, and black. I thought that was varsity red. So the patent leather around the mud guard or the mitts or the uh, upper or whatever you want to call this thing. Is it mud guard? Whatever. Is that red varsity red color you feel me all around the shoe you know what i'm saying very simple shoe you know what i'm saying the top is that mesh that we get with these straps on the side right here these little i call them straps whatever you want to call them and they in between the mesh um that creates the shoe these shoes are, in my opinion uncomfortable air joint 11s are uncomfortable to me for my foot i do not think they are super comfortable. I ain't gonna say uncomfortable like my feet hurting, but after you wear them for a few hours, you're like, oh, I can take these off. Pant leather gets a little stiff, and what I hate about 11s is the creasing right here. As far as the silhouette, this is the most one of the most classic, clean, I don't wanna be like I'm just being negative this whole video. This is one of the most classic, clean, just dope, Air Jordan ever, you know what I'm saying? Jordan, I always like Jordan 11s was my favorite growing up. Besides the Jordan 7, everybody know that's my number one. But other than the 7, it was all about the 11s, man. Um, well, that's cap too because I like sixes more than 11. Number three was the 11. Jordan 11 was definitely one of my favorite Jordans growing up. I can't put nothing past the sixes and the sevens because that's when I first started getting into Jordans and who Michael Jordan was. But 11s was always one of the favorites, especially the bread. My all-time favorite Jordan 11 is the bread 11. I got a 2019 right here. Uh, wore them once or twice. Still look pretty, pretty, pretty. DS, you know what I'm saying? If I, if I do say so myself, the shoe pre looks pretty DS. It ain't that bad, man. I wore, like I said, I wore like twice, I think. Oh, this looks so much better to me. You know what I'm saying? And this, I don't know. It looks so, <laughs> looks so much better to me. I, and, and probably because I'm biased, because it's an OG. But come on, man, bread guys. You feel me? Um, anyway, we talking about these, the Cherry Eleven. Like I said, you got your 23 in the back right here, and that um, it's it's not the stitch. They need to start just doing nothing but the stitch because over time, with this with this back red tab right here and it's stretching, and you putting the shoe on and taking it off, this stuff right here is gonna start to crackle. This little fight that they put on here. A little press on 23 or whatever that, that guy gonna start to crackle got your varsity red jump man as well very clean look on the shoe um as far as the front of the shoe you got your jump man jordan with your red jump man in the middle black jump man jordan you know what i'm saying that's kind of what to be expected you know the inside got that red uh liner on the inside and on the bottom uh, you expect that too. Red insole with white jump man on it. Of course, they don't come with extra laces. No Jordan 11, I don't think, ever came with extra laces. Um, unless it was a collab or something, maybe. Or the Jordan 1 Low Jeters, I know for sure. I mean, Jordan 1 Low. Jordan 11 Low Jeters definitely came with extra laces. They came with those like dress shoe kind of laces and they came with like the basketball hoop laces like these come with. But like that's pretty much it. My my thing I want to talk about is are we do we go crazy over 11s like that anymore? Are we still is this still like quote unquote the holiday shoe, the shoe you look forward to at the end of the year? Are we still going crazy for Jordan 11s? I mean, after all the OGs dropped to me, I, I, I could care less. I did not. I don't want this shoe. I ain't gotta have it. It's not a bad shoe. I keep saying it's clean. And if somebody gave this to me for a gift, I would like. I would be so appreciative. Like, thank you. I appreciate it. And I will wear them. I wouldn't sell them. I will wear them. You know what I'm saying? I like the shoe. I'm just not gonna go out of my way to spend my money. I just don't need this shoe. I don't need these. I got all the Jordan 11s I like. All the Jordan 11s I love. Um, but can y'all answer the question? Are we still going crazy for these? I know a lot of people still digging them. And I know a couple people might jump in the comments below and call me a hype beast. Rich, you just, they made a lot of pairs. That's why you don't care about them. But I get, I still buy general release shoes. So, before y'all even bring that uh <laughs> before y'all even bring it up, I got, come on, boy, if I, if I man, if y'all, if I want to go back on memory lane and tell y'all some of the GRs that I copped this year that nobody cared about, that sat on shelves, that nobody bought, talking about Jordan 7s, talking about uh, Brotherhood 1s. So, I mean, it was, I got so many things, the Heritage ones, and even though I knew Heritage ones was gonna see, I still cop. I don't care about what I like. I don't have a hair these. I, I literally wanted the Heritage Jordan 1 that's sitting everywhere you can get for probably under retail somewhere at this point. I wanted that shoe. I don't want these. You know what I'm saying? So that kind of tell you, you know what I'm saying? And that's what people said Jordan 1 was like playing out. I'm not saying the Jordan 11 is playing out. I'm just saying. This shoe right here, I probably would have caught back in 2016. I would have went crazy. I probably would have doubled up, you know, and they'll probably be sold already to this point. 
just don't have to have them. When like around the time when like ninety six and and when like eighty twos was coming out, it seemed like this pair would have dropped back then. Instead of a holiday release, it seemed like they should just stop dropping little pairs like this during the year. And then for the holiday release, just give us an OG or something close to the OG or something they haven't dropped in years or something like that. Like twenty fifth anniversary. What was the anniversary? When it was the all whites and the all blacks with the gold and um gammas. I know I keep bringing that up, but gammas drop gammas again, man. Been a minute since them drop. Um, some of the new OGs, like the retros, dope colorways that came out that they can bring out again. Y'all know what I'm saying. Anyway, comment below what you think about these, man. Like I said, my guy Zay got these off the Shock Drop Nike Sneakers app. I knew about the Shock Drop. It started like 3 o'clock. Yeah, they was like having a live and all that stuff, and then you had a chance to buy the shoe. I didn't even try for it because, like I said, I knew I wasn't going to. I wasn't going to. When I got them in hand, I was going to be like, oh, oh, okay then. Anybody want them? Size 12. You know what I'm saying? Offer up. Hey, talking about. But anyway, that's my little review. I think it's a clean shoe. I don't say it a million times. It's dope. It's a clean shoe. If you like 11s, if you like red and white, cop a pair. What I do want, and this might be a little hypocritical, but if y'all bring out the cherry um twelve uh twelves, you bring out the cherry twelves, I'm in there. That's an OG shoe. And even though it says cherry 12 and this is a cherry 11, that cherry on the 12 is a whole lot darker than this right here it's like it's not a whole lot darker but it's it's definitely a different shade of red um than this right here and when they finally do bring out the cherry 11s i mean cherry 12s again i wonder if it's gonna have that same red or they're gonna slap this kind of light bright you know what i'm saying cherry color on it oh no y'all comment below and tell me what i think y'all are y'all ready for the cherry 12s to drop again Comment below and let me know. That's the one I'm looking forward to. Um, so anyway, that's the Cherry 11 Air Jordans. They release, um, when do they release? December something. And I know they retail for $225. Yep, they um, did a exclusive access today. Actually, I didn't get exclusive access on these. $225 and they release on, where's the date? Where's the date? They don't even say the date on here. December 10th, here we go. They drop on December 10th, $225. Y'all going after them, comment below and let me know. And as always, I appreciate y'all for watching, man. Hit the thumbs up, like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit that notification bell so you can become part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them. And keep watching my video because that's what I'm here for. Gone. Call up the plug, hit me a lick. Early kids from Retro Rick. New air bubble like helium lift. So as to bless, thank God for the gift. Yeah, yeah, it's a hit. Premium fit. No barbecue, but this is it. Hold up, rock, rock, just might hit. With richest kids, I mean my rich. Yeah, ballin' all the way to the moon on them. Space Jam going on the tune on them. Sweeping y'all haters, get the broom on them. New heat coming real soon on them. Yeah, my rich fans, shout that's what I cop to give for. Thank you for watching these vids, that's what I'm here for. It gone. All the way up to the moon on them. What's happening there, everybody? Yeah. Life so lighty daddy. Bless. Hit that Nike snow just like your girl hit Hobby Lobby. Yeah. Then we fly to Abu Dhabi. Then we gone straight up to the moon on them. Hey.